As the head of Smith & Smith Productions, our next guest produces a smorgasbord of comedy programming. His hits include the new Red Green show, Go Girl, History Bites, and Smith & Smith. Now he has a new show on the Comedy Network called Supertown Challenge. Please welcome Steve Smith. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have you. That's uh, oh one of the Lottie Da family. It's one of yours. It's not one of mine. It's one of you. you don't even need any guests. This is a funny show. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, Steve. Great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I want you to stay. Oh, it didn't work. Great to have you here. And congratulations on the big Gemini win Sunday. How about that, eh? Yeah. 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 You know? I know. Uh, you and Patrick McKenna won for best performance in a comedy, comedy series. Yeah. Yes. You know, I have I've congratulated people for so long, for so many years, for that what? award. I was starting to think I meant it. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a. And you know, it's funny. The Gemini's are totally meaningless until you win one. And now I realize <laughs> what. And this year particularly, I think it's a very important award. Why don't we get off the Gemini's, sir? Why don't we get off them? <laughs> Let's talk about our new show. I, I brought you something here. We're doing this show, uh, which uh, is a fake game show where towns compete to see which is the best town right. in Canada. But we use real towns. Right. So we get in touch with the towns, and sometimes they send us stuff, and I thought I'd bring this in. This is direct from Whitehorse. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want you to play with, because you have someone in your family who has a birthday, and I thought, you know, that's it's wonderful. really, you know, good I timing. Will. You want me to put that on? It's, it's, no, I'm not going to put it a, on. I, I think it's pretty much good. At the end of the show, I'm going to give this to my 23-year-old son. It's his big present. There you go. <laughs> what is it? What do you do with it? It's a puppet, and you put it on your hand. And, and oh, you don't put it on your head, thank God. All no, right. no, 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 no. See, and each finger goes in a different... Yes. And then you can, then now you go nuts. There we go. There we go. It's absolutely incredible. I'm not sure it makes you want to go to Whitehorse if that's their mascot. <laughs> No one has any blood. What is blood. it, a black flag? It would be a mosquito, I'm thinking. Look at how I... Do you ever go I, to the city at all? You see how little motor control I have? Yeah, you got to do them both, eh? It's <laughs> yeah. uh, absolutely Not amazing. really a drummer, Mike. That's incredible. You got this in Whitehorse? They sent, us, they sent it to us, and they sent us some fudge, and these, all these towns seem to uh, send us things when they know yeah. we're going to do something about their town. There's nothing like food through the mail. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so they sent you some fudge. Now, you've had a clip of Supertown Challenge with you. Yes. And you've already virtually set it up because it's a contest between real towns with uh, great sketch artists playing it's an, the it's roles of the It's an odd show. It's, it's a very odd show using a whole bunch of great Canadian comic actors. We're going to use right. 156 of them. Yes. Yeah. And the, uh, the host of the show is Colin Mockery. Colin Mockery. Who's who who's last on. week was here. Oh, yeah. And said that you were going to use 156 actors. Yes. So you're either both liars or that's a true story. <laughs> okay. All right. Or both. Now, why don't we take a look at the clip? Contestants, when you want to ask a question or answer, just put your hands up to your head like this <laughs> and then honk like this. Honk, honk. <laughs> good, good. Honk, honk. honk. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's spin again. <laughs> Things that have spots. <laughs> Dick, that's sport. That's right for five points. <laughs> Quinn takes a shot, please. <laughs> <laughs> The show, uh, the actual tape that I saw last week, uh, I guess some of these small towns could view this as potentially embarrassing. Well, I, I don't think so. No. I didn't see it that way at all. No, I think it's great promo. I mean, where, have you ever thought of Gimli, Manitoba? No. See? Did Only you... when I'm cleaning out my turkey before I cook <laughs> it. <laughs> Gotta get the Gimli's out of there. That's right. Well, Gimli was an independent country for 12 years in the 1800s, and you won't learn this kind of stuff on the... Until Gimli later. was an independent country an in the Icelandic 1800s? Icelandic colony had an independent republic in Manitoba, in Gimli. And some of them want to go back and do that again. Yeah. <laughs> There's advantages to being Icelandic. I suppose there are. Free dental. Free dental? Ice, free dental for all uh, Icelandic but, citizens. But the airfare will kill you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. 
2,000 bucks to get there. Yeah. To Philly. That's right. Now you're going to Yellowknife to shoot a Christmas special. Yeah, I've done a Christmas special in Yellowknife, which yeah. is one of our towns too. So that'll be fun. I'm going November 9th. Mm -hmm. We're having a moose barbecue up there. I haven't told the, the special effects guy because he's vegetarian. Right. I want him to get the big one with the antlers right on his plate there. Yeah. Yeah. You're like going to have a moose barbecue for all the people of Yellowknife? No, just our crew, I believe. And uh, a few, I mean, we're being hosted. So right. I've had a lot of thrills. I had a uh, 21 chainsaw salute in Alaska. So <laughs> it's, been, it's just been milestone, milestone, milestone. Yeah. I did want to say, though, before we finish with Supertown, that uh, if people want to come to this, we tape it live in front of an audience just like this. Mm -hmm. And we have a Toronto number, 777. 9090, or if you live out in my end of the woods, uh, 631-7450, and it's free and it's a lot of fun. All right. Well, All you right. do that, folks. And uh, if you enjoyed Steve tonight, call 1-888-461-2200. <laughs> hey, comedy's doing great in this country. You're doing a great job, and it's, all, it's happening. It's happening. I know, I know, uh, I know Steve has to go, but I want to thank you very much for coming tonight. I know you're probably one of the busiest guys working in the country, and it was a real pleasure to have you here. It's once my again. pleasure. Steve Smith, ladies and gentlemen.